Every single thing that every man do, they always put most people first before they put themselves first. That's why they be so disappointed when they get socks on Christmas because it wasn't the fact that you got socks. It was the fact that the gift wasn't thoughtful. And so because we put everything first, we always trying to figure out how it is that we can put things together. But in reality, at the same time, God is taking them through it. So when I tell guys to vet for women for who it is that they're going to become versus where they at, they can't understand it because they're not mature enough to actually see it. But it's partly because you didn't have a father in your life and also because your mother then got rid of your father, but you needed him. So now Anton comes in and he gives you the insight and information, the things that your father should have taught you when you got to go through it the hard way. First, you reject me. Then you embrace me. Then you grow and you become successful. First, you reject me. Then you embrace me. Then you grow and then you become successful. You know why? Because you got to go through the hard lessons that your father was supposed to teach you, but he was rejected. He was rejected. It's the truth. It's the truth. It's the God honest truth. Success. I want to break you. I want to break you today. I want to break everything within you and your mindset that you thought made sense of what it took in order to be successful especially with regard to relationships and marriage. Your love language don't matter. It never did. It never did. And when you go in, and let me give you the blueprint for what it is that you need to go into and do in order to understand what your threshold for pain and why I'm saying that. It's because at some point, everybody in a relationship is going to become something different than what you thought that they were. Because the picture that you painted in your mind was based off of what you dated. Dating is bad. It's horrible. And dating doesn't start until you actually get in a relationship. Because that's what it takes in order to continue to endure. That's what it takes in order to keep the flames, in order to keep the sparks, in order to understand, in order to get through it. And because you got so many layers of presentation in the dating phase, what happens is you never really get to see who that person truly is. You don't get to see how they treat their parents. You don't get to see how whether or not they, they can hold down a job. You don't really get to understand the traumas and the problems and the issues and the life circumstances that's affecting the decisions that they make in a day. You don't get to understand that they hold on to the job because they seen their father get laid off and they didn't like how it affected their family when they was younger. And because you never understood it, the only thing that you asked them was what he did for a living in order to understand whether or not he made six figures. But in reality, the talent that that man has, he's supposed to be a millionaire. But you can't nurse him through it and you can't be there with him as he goes through that journey because the only thing that you're doing is work, working on the six figures. I want a six figure man. The reality is that the thing that God had for you, you fumbled it because you never held down what that man was before he became six figures. And so that man is really a millionaire and you're going to regret it and the man that you should have married. And when you think about going back on the times and all of this reflection that you got going on in your life, you will never admit it to me, but secretly within yourself, you hurt. Similar to the email that I got. She hurt. She's a good woman. I'm not going to even cap. She's a good woman. Most of the women that I've dealt with in my lifetime, they were good women. I've never been in a situation where I've been hurt by a woman, contrary to what these women want to think. Been married since I was 22 years old, been in a great space, phenomenal space, both parents. Everything in my life has been really awesome as far as the lessons that I got in order to really become the man that I'm supposed to be today. Father, been in my life, my entire life until it's untimely demise in 2017. By then I was a 37, 36 year old grown man. I ain't tripping off of that. I had learned everything that I needed to learn in order to become the man that I am today. Everything that I needed to learn. Everything. And so when I tell you to go in and figure out what your threshold for pain is, I want you to really, really, really think about what you're willing to, willing to endure through. Because when you make that vow, when you say till death do us part, that's a covenant between you, him and God. That's a covenant between you, her and God. being honest. I'm being absolutely real with you. I'm not going to be any more transparent than I am right now. And so you need to understand, listen, can you love her through it when she got postpartum? When she gets depressed? 
Are you willing to stick through it when she's not able to have sex with you because her body is literally deformed after having a kid and she needs to heal? Are you considerate? Are you loving? Are you kind? Do you treat her as though you would treat yourself? Do you love her the way that you would love God? Because stop telling me you love God, but then you're treating the people that's next to you like trash. Because the covenant that you have, especially in the New Testament, that covers all. You need to love your neighbor, which is literally your spouse. It's your kids. It's the people. It's your friends. It's your family. And it don't mean that they're not going to do you wrong or y'all not going to go through stuff. But are you understanding? Are you kind? Would you treat Jesus Christ himself if you knew he was standing right there in front of you like that? When they cut her body open and it's deformed, or if she pick up a little bit of weight, or she got thyroid issues, or she's revisiting some childhood traumas that she never really got over because her daddy did her dirty and she never wanted to tell that story, but now she feel vulnerable enough, vulnerable enough to tell you. Are you considerate? I know a lot. Come on, man. Listen, if we're going to have this real conversation, let's have this real conversation. She could be sick, sick, sick as a dog with a fever. Nigga, you still want to hump on her back. That's not love. That's not love. I'm telling you the truth. That's not love. It's not love. By any means necessary, I got to get my nut off. Can you see him through it? When he don't understand why he feel what he feel. When he trying to figure out what he going to do with his life because he made a decision from a career perspective, expecting to take care of you for the rest of his life. But now he got other goals and ambitions and he's going to have to take two steps forward in, in order to take or two steps back in order to take 10 steps forward. Are you willing to ride that journey with him or you only want to see him at the end of the finish line? Because don't come back. Don't come back. Are you down to the end? Are you a down ass chick? Are you down? Because we don't necessarily need you to tell us what we, we supposed to do. We know what we supposed to do. I'm just trying to figure out if you're going to ride this ride with me. Are you only there when the ride is outside of the water or are you there when it seems like we're going to drown? Are you down to drown together? Because I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. It's a glorious, glorious time when you're down there in the mire. When you look back at the fact that, and I share my own personal life details. I wish I had that budget. Hey, uh, Rita. I don't know if she can hear me. She in there with the door closed. She has sent me my old budget of when I was getting paid in 2008. And that shit was so sad. It was such a sad budget. I didn't even want to see it. It almost gave me PTSD. <laughs> but it wasn't no turning back. 